unto the Lord. Good. We thank the Lord for the opportunity once again to uh, meet after four good months. This year I was so very naive. I ready me here. I didn't hear. Ah, I will not show you how to enjoy now because I can't ready me here. I ready me here also. I ready me here. Hallelujah. God has been so good unto us. Today I'm speaking on the topic with Jesus. There is sure hope for restoration. Uh, from the passage, we will say that with Jesus in your boat, there is sure way of what? Of restoration. With Jesus on your boat, there is sure way. Uh, sure hope for restoration. Let us pray. Dear Lord, this hour, I'm most grateful to you for the opportunity. Once again, to come together as one family of God. Speak to us, Lord. Minister to us, Lord. Bless us through the preaching and hearing of your word. And we will continue to glorify your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. With Jesus in your books, there is sure hope. For restoration. Beloved, we live in a world that um, sometimes some unforeseen circumstances happen to us. Little did we know, we began this year by 21 days of prayer and fasting, you remember, and we used the passage um, Psalm 23 mm -hmm. and then the Lord's Prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You remember, we fasted and we prayed. Little did we know that within two months time there is going to be um, Corona. I don't know whether Corona is masculine or feminine. I so I am Corona, so I am Corona. Was about to come. Hallelujah. You know, that is life. And then within a short time, everybody needed to stay indoor. Then pastors, ministers, others began to bring passages from the Bible saying, even go behind your closed doors. It's even biblical. <laughs> Little did we know that quotation. You know, business threats stopped. I planned to travel to Ghana. I couldn't go. Many of you planned to travel and do so many things, but because of this calamity, we couldn't go. Although we didn't get an answer. It took me a nipa cotton the every one. circumstances. for prayer and fasting for 21 days. Corona and then now covenant and then now your friends are China, you want to do in Germany. But that is life. Sometimes we do not plan for calamity. Sometimes certain things which is unforeseen happen to us. And it brings about certain kind of losses. Certain kinds of losses. If you have to be a baba because of this pandemic loss of loved ones, loss of families and uh, members, loss sometimes your business is sick and we cry to come on back to our say coronavirus in Chikura is a much about it with only so now I'm not doing all that I need to work on so there are so many losses, there are so many losses and you know, it's me actually and you know, it's me and you know, because of unforeseen circumstances and we see that from the passage we read today, and um, we are told, said, Peter, echo, poso, obi echo, poso, or was sure, a was or kwa koyi namaba. Peter went fishing, and every fisherman or woman, everybody who goes fishing has this assurance that the person is going, although empty, but the person is coming back with a catch of fish. Mm? I don't think um, 2020, everywhere people have come with different dreams, different anticipation, different hope, you know. But uh, Peter, to the surprise of Peter, he went fishing 
And within a short time, or over the night, of course, um, all his experience, the name the hour, the skills are over, the tools are over, or they go up for you and now. Maybe not like he plays, he made them in place. But throughout the night, oh yeah, 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 the Bible says we're not fish. Hallelujah. Peter went fishing, hoping that he was going to get a cat, plenty cat, because Peter was an experienced man. And he did not only go alone, he went with his team. In fact, he had two boats. We are told that the two boats, one of the two boats belonging to Peter. All right? So he was an experienced um, fisherman. But, okay, yeah, 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 then the night passed. Peter, they do not catch any fish. That is why I said in life, sometimes unforeseen circumstances happen. Things you do not anticipate. Things you do not plan for. We won't pay your mouth saying, who are all sun and rubber and we are not in your running side of the hell. Hallelujah. Bible said, man plans his way, but God determines the steps. You make your own plans. I will do this, I will go there, I will go that. But it is God who orders the steps of the people. So Peter, by his own experience, did all that he could, but he did not catch any fish. Hallelujah. What are the dreams? What are your dreams that you set for yourself beginning this year? And you have another see when this was out for you, but yeah, so say, yeah, Pam, we are in July. Now, you only see when this is what you get to the one. Hmm? You move your own, ma, you get to the real, you get to the real, and you will so be so permanent. Now say a thousand euro, and that cost a two thousand euro. Now say a two thousand euro, and that cost a three thousand euro. You will be at the least, so say, me, Diana, me, see, and you will so be so. What was your emotions, huh? 
Okay? What is your emotion? Hmm? What is it? Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, so at the end of the day, Peter, Jesus came to the scene and said, Fao Kudwono and Mami, Na Mintina Munka Asem. I'm talking about the fact that with Jesus in your boat, there is hope for what? Restoration. Huh? With Jesus in your boat, there is what? Hope. So Peter gave Peter the ne could one year day and my yes Christo. Twenty twenty. And yeah, oh restoration. I shall see any say. What did the boot of your hearts and my yes? And yeah, oh restoration, I shall see any say. Thank you. 